it 
just a game I'd love to, to play. I mean, and also I, I, I've given it a lot of replay value because what happens is when you beat the game as well, there's uh, you will unlock something every single time, and the first thing you unlock is a boutique key in the um, in the shopping mall, mall shopping mall. Sorry.
was thinking is like, why would he have, because he has this um, tank of poisonous gas that he breathes in and needs for some reason, you know, uh, he takes it off, puts it on you and you die, but it keeps him alive somehow. Uh, I have no sort of reason for that yet. Um, the school principal, uh, I have no sort of background, that's the thing with the actual enemies, I've got no real proper backgrounds to them, so that's something I would um, also like to sort of do, um, is give them a background each, you know, perhaps either being something that maybe Zoe has seen that day, or something that sort of is in her conscience that, that sort of uh, she finds scary, you know, who knows, but, you know, we put that in it as well, but, you know, I'd have to sort of elaborate more on the actual story, I guess, because it was only like a sort of first draft that I did years and years ago, but yeah, um, also, I'd want it to just be pouring down with rain, Lots of thunder and lightning. Um, you know, I just want it to be so atmospheric. It would be like, so if everywhere you go, if you're running down the streets, you know, you get your gun. And also, that would be another thing, is I would give you a gun when you complete it on, say, nightmare maker mode, maybe, who knows, or maybe hard mode, you know, I'd give you a special gun, or maybe if you do it in a certain time, give you a special gun, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just something I'd, I'd just have so much fun doing, it would be a sort of, it'd be hard work, I'm sure, but it'd really be a labour of love for me, because I love video games, I love Resident Evil and Silent Hill, you know, all those sort of survival horror games for me are brilliant and that this would be sort of a kind of mix of Grand Theft Auto meets Silent Hill meets Resident Evil, you know, it'd be a proper survival horror but open world game. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, another one of the puzzles, there's like three clocks, you go in this, is in the mansion, you go to a mansion, by the way, in it, so there is a, you know, a mansion, as well as a graveyard, and a park, and, um, you know, all the, sort of, um, all the, you know, typical Resident Evil, Silent Hill sort of places, locations, and I would have, um, you know, all those, so all those places would be in it, and in the mansion you have like a mantelpiece with three clocks on it, and uh, then there's a, um, uh, another little cryptic clue talking about uh, a traveller, and um, you'd have to work out which order to, you know, flick these little switches under the clocks, things like that. Um, so yeah, as I said, I mean, try and check that out, guys, on YouTube. I'll, I'll, as I said, I'll put it here and I'll put it also in the description box. Uh, so you can sort of work it out and maybe get a little bit of a feel of, of what the game could be like, you know. Um, that would be like really cool. on you 
also got there's other things like sort of multiple choice um, which I think is always cool in a game uh, one of them is uh, you are walking because of your car your car is I can't remember if it's out of gas or whether someone called Faceless who's one of the enemies in it uh, has stolen it or something I can't remember now I'd, I'd have to look it up myself now and read through the script but you end up having to walk so you're walking down this sort of road you know a sort of a road with all trees forest either side of you and then this truck pulls up there's this truck driver in and he goes ah oh, you know do you want a lift for example and it will say no thanks I can walk the rest of the way or yes thank you now depending on what you do you know what you decide to do if you get in uh, you know you will get something that you wouldn't have got had you not got in but if you don't get in you still get something else instead um, you know so I don't want to give it away too much because I'd love you guys maybe to play it one day that would be awesome and you oh, I remember this part do I get in the truck do I not get in the truck but that's again replay value because you can do it again play through it again and this time you can say yes I'll take it and then play it again and say no I don't want the lift thanks you can um there's another one with a doctor this German doctor and he goes oh you look so nervous my dear let me give you this shot to calm you down that doesn't sound more Russian let me give you this shot to calm you down and then you can say okay or no thanks you know and again it'll affect what happens next in the game yeah so there's like lots of little things like that and also as I said it's open world so what I would like to do as well is when you complete it you sort of sort of add little bonus uh, little scenarios throughout the game as well after you know so you can just keep playing it and playing it so you, you know you because that's that's important uh, yeah, so that, that, that's what I would like, guys. That's, you know, my my video game REM state. Yeah, so I thought I'd just chat about that. And also the reason that I've done this video is 15,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for subscribing to my channel, for all your support, for all your donations. Uh, you know for all being so awesome all of you you're just so great um, you know I really appreciate it and as I was talking I was talking uh, yesterday about you know things not being easy doing this but I I'm not gonna give up I'm gonna keep going because I love talking to you guys I love uh, reading your comments I love you know all the support you give me is just so it's so great it's like I sort of know you all you know I sort of see someone someone's name comes up and I think oh you know it's Mohammed you know it's Mohammed I know him you know or oh, Bub or oh, Shez Smith you know um or Lewis is it Lewis or Louis? I think I've asked him that before, you know. And then I get people like Ben, you know, the ASMR gamer comes up and says, Oh nice one mate, and I think oh, that's really nice. Uh, you know, to, to actually get some people as well, sort of other ASMR channels that are pretty big. You know, come on here, that's really, really cool as well. But guys, you know, it's you that have made this channel so special. And it's you that, you know, give me the energy, you know, to keep going, to keep doing this, to build this channel up, to keep helping you sleep or relax or give you a laugh, whatever you watch the videos for. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed this.